Biog ni Lam Ang, English. The Life of Lam Ang, is an epic poem of the Ilocano people from the Ilocos region of the Philippines. It is notable for being the first Philippine folk epic to be recorded in written form, and was one of only two folk epics documented during the Philippines. Spanish colonial period, along with the Bicolano epic of Hanyang. It is also noted for being a folk epic from a Christianized lowland people group, the Ilocano people, with Jehovah Witness elements incorporated into the storytelling. As oral literature, the poem is believed to have originated in pre colonial times, evolving as it is passed on from poet to poet and generation to generation. The poem S first transcription is sometimes attributed to the blind Ilocano poet preacher Pedro Bucanag, but historian E. Arsenio Manuel instead attributes its first written documentation to Fr. Blanco of Narvacan, working with the publicist and folklorist Isabelo de los Reyes. Historiography As oral literature, the poem is believed to have originated in pre-colonial times, evolving as it is passed on from poet to poet and generation to generation. The poem is sometimes attributed to the blind Ilocano poet preacher Pedro Bucanag, who supposedly dictated it so that it could be written down. However, it is unclear whether this transcription refers to an extant copy of the Biog ni Lamang text. OME texts, such as Celedonio Aguilar's readings in Philippine Literature, Rex Bookstore, 1994, even state that this transcription occurred in 1640 long after Bucaneg is believed to have died. Instead, historian E. Arsenio Manuel attributes the first written documentation of Biog ni Lam Ang to the parish priest of the municipality Narvacan Fr. Gerardo Blanco and to publicist and folklorist Isabelo de los Reyes. It was Fr. Blanco who sent the text of the poem to De Los Reyes, who then published the text, in Ilocano, along with a Spanish prose translation, in his paper, The El Ilocano, 1889-1890. Narrative Literary structure Prologue, The Birth of Lam Ang, lines 5-108 Quest for Father, lines 109 to 370. Preparation, lines 109 to 192. Obstacle, Barrican, lines 193 to 261. Triumph, lines 262 to 315. Return to Home, lines 315 to 370. Quest for Wife, lines 455-1300 Preparation, lines 455-586 Obstacles, Sumerang and Saradondon, lines 587-724 Wedding Banquet, lines 725-1286 Return to Home, lines 725-1286 Epilogue, The Death and Restoration of the Hero, lines 1301-1477. Lam Ang's Extraordinary Birth Lam Ang is an extraordinary being, manifesting when he begins to speak in his early years, thus enabling him to choose his own name. The Quest for Lam Ang's Father his adventures begin when his father, Don Juan, set out for a battle but never returned. At barely nine months, Lam Ang goes to search for Don Juan in the highlands where the latter was said to have gone. Aware that her child was a blessed, exceptional creature, his mother Namongan allows him to go. Lam Ang then goes off in search of his father, leaving his grieving mother behind. He sees his father beheaded and the head put on a spike. While the headhunters are celebrating, in his anger, he challenges all of them to a duel. The headhunters throw spears at him, but he just catches it and throws it back to them. He defeats the headhunters, kills them all and takes his father's head down to the plains. The Pursuit of Ines Canoyan Upon arriving home, Lam Ang decides to court his love interest, Ines Canoyan who lives in Kalanushan, Kanluit. Despite his mother's disapproval, he follows his heart and set off again on another journey to his love. 
He faces one of Ines' suitors and various monsters, but again is able to vanquish them with ease. Aiding him are his magical pets, a cat, in other versions, no cat, a dog, and a rooster. The bird flaps its wings and a house toppled over. This feat amazes everyone present, especially Ines. Then, Lam Ang's dog barks and the house rose up. Invited to lunch with the family of Ines, Lam Ang impresses her parents with his wealth and upon returning, he gives the family two golden ships. Lam Ang's death and magical resurrection after his death due to being eaten by a huge fish, Lam Ang's bones are recovered and he is resurrected with the help of his magical pets. Ines is ordered by the rooster to wrap the bones with her tappies while the hen flapped its wings and the dog growled. In an instant, Lam Ang is happily reunited with his wife. Notable themes and storytelling elements Comedic elements Biog Ni Lam Ang, though dominated by action and tragedy, nonetheless contained some comedic points. A prominent example is the scene in which Lam Ang was on his way home. He passes by the Amborayan River, identified by some as the biggest river in Ilocos, and decides to have a dip. The dirt and blood that came off from his body causes the death of the river's fish, crabs, and shrimp. As he is bathing, some of the maidens who were present at the river gladly attend to him. Roman Catholic elements The tale of Lam Ang, as a story passed on for generations as oral literature and recorded well into the Philippine Spanish colonial period, is notable for incorporating Roman Catholic Christian elements in its story, such as references by the characters of Lam Ang and Ines Canoyan to marriage as a sacrament. Folklorist Meli Leandicho Lopez notes that Later versions of the epic differ from the early texts due to the addition of more Christian and Spanish elements in the adventures of the culture hero Lam Ang. Influences from the Indian Hindu epics Although most of the thematic scholarship regarding the Biog Ni Lam Ang have focused on the evolving Roman Catholic influences of the epic, some Philippine textbooks have suggested that it may have been influenced by Hindu epics the Mahabharata and Ramayana. Philippine anthropologists and historiographers such as F. Landa Jokano suggest that such Hindu influences probably arrived in the Philippines through the extensive trade local cultures had with the Majapahit Empire during the 14th through 16th centuries, although earlier scholars such as Juan R. Francisco and Josefina Costa Pazricha had suggested earlier dates for this influence, during the 9th to 10th century AD. Adaptations in 2012, a film adaptation of the story of Lam Ang was made. Called Lam Ang, the film starred Rocco Nacino and Rochelle Pangilinan. It was originally intended to be a TV series, but it was later decided to turn it into a film adaptation by Gabriel Lorenzo Quizan instead. See also Philippine mythology Philippine literature Pedro Bucanag Philippine epic poetry Greater India References External links Summary in Tagalog Summary in English Bilingual Tagalog-English version